Well, I'll have to cover these two in one go, so I'll start with Edward. I have no qualms with him being a Furnace Railway K2 larger seagull, so my ideal Edward swaps cabs and frame sections with James. He has semicircle cab windows and two plates in front of his chest. Given how similar the two models are, I'd almost be prepared to bet that at some point in pre-production their cabs and frame sections ended up getting switched unintentionally. As for James, he gets the two cab windows each side and the curved slab down his front, and he's still a six-coupled, experimentally rebuilt into a mogul, but he's not a former LNY Class 28 or a Glasgow and Southwestern 403. I wanted an 060 with a high enough power rating to make him a viable auxiliary express engine. For reasons I'm sure I'll explain someday, I avoided the Q1, as much as I love them, and went for the second strongest 060 in Britain. My ideal James is an LNERJ20, built in 1922 and experimentally rebuilt in the 30s. Like the canonical James, the experiment didn't go great, and he sold us some backwater. Namely, Sodor. I found giving him red wheels didn't look good until I changed the color of the buffer beam and running plate sides, sort of taking inspiration from this Bachman LMS crab, which I considered just having James be, but decided he should retain inside cylinders and valve gear to make him stand out more among the big engines, even though he's still the smallest of them. I'm sure I'll get into the other reasons some other time discussing some other modified engine. Side note, sometimes it looks like the show was trying to give James's face a smoke box door look. If you liked hearing my point of view and seeing my edits, let me know what character you'd like me to cover next. 